Hi there, and here's uh, an update to the pulse tutorial. Um, so, what we were doing is creating a heart rate monitor or um, type of thing you see in a hospital shows the person's pulse rate. So this is what we made previously, but um, as you can see, it just kind of plays once. So I've updated this tutorial, uh, actually using concept taken from um, another YouTuber, um, Simon Ubsdall. Um, so he created a pulse effect using particle generators. So uh, I've done the same thing here. And what we'll see this time is... Uh, it's a bit more re realistic. It, it repeats and loops over the screen. Um, however, it is a lot more um, system resource intensive. You can see it's slowing down there. Because um, we're generating a lot of particles. We use a particle generator to create this. So I'll just quickly go over how this is done. So um, we'll create a new group. And uh, we'll draw a little circle inside here. I want to make it pretty small. And then we'll hit... Um, the E key to make an emitter out of that circle. So we've now got an emitter and if we were to, oops, let's just drag this back here. You can see that the emitter is gonna create all of these um, particles. It's gonna emit our circle lots of times. So we want to edit the, pr uh, the properties of this emitter. Um, we'll turn the speed down to zero. Um, we're gonna increase the birth rate we need to, that to be quite high, just the life a little bit. Um, and then we will just position this onto our screen. And we're going to animate it across the screen, leaving a trail. And we're going to use a control object. So we'll create a new group inside here, which we'll call control. And then inside of this, we're going to draw a little rectangle in the center of the screen there. Um, and we're going to use this the animation of this rectangle to control the animation of our emitter group. So it, it's kind of a simpler way of animating. Keeps it more um, clean. Again, this is an idea taken from Simon Obstall, and uh, I really like it. So uh, what we'll do is just very basically animate this rectangle. So we'll start off with it. Um, its Y position is... Uh, Y position will be zero, sorry, it'll be the X position will be off of the screen just over there. Okay? And we'll add a keyframe there. And then we want to take around four seconds. So we'll skip forward to four seconds. And we want the cube to be on the other side of the screen. Okay, so over a four second period, we're going to have our cube move across the screen, like so. Okay, now let's open up our keyframe editor, and I want to change this, the interpolation to, um, sorry, to linear. So that we don't get any speeding up or slowing down or easing in or easing out. So it'll be a constant speed across the screen. Uh, now we'll go back over to our emitter object and we'll go to the um, position here, right click, add primitive behavior, link, and then we're going to drag our control object into there and in compatible parameters we'll go to transform position all. Okay, now we can hide our control group and you'll see what we get now is our line being drawn across the screen. Now I want that tail, I want it to tail off a little bit, I don't want the line to be continuous like that. So we'll go over again to our um, generator, to our particle cell, and let's change the life a little bit. So it'll have a tail on it. And then the other thing we'll go down to our color mode, and we'll go to over life, expand that, we add a new color here, which will be the black. 
we can remove this and you see that gives us now a faded off tail and then it's just a simple matter of choosing our color which will go for this green and my line is a little thick I think so I'm just going to go over to my original circle that I drew to the properties and we'll just decrease the scale a little bit to get a thinner line and now we get our line coming over the screen okay now we need to loop this so we'll go back to our control object to our rectangle and we want to loop this so after it ends it will go back to where it was so now transform X position here we go to after last keyframe repeat and you'll see now what we will get will be our line will come across the screen and after reaching the other side it will repeat and we've got these little particles here that's the way the uh, to do with the way the emitters are working so to get rid of those we just are going to keyframe our um, birth rate of our emitter so we'll select our emitter there go over to particle cell we'll come to frame number one we'll add a keyframe go forward two frames we add another keyframe and then we'll go to the four seconds and we add another keyframe okay so go back to our very first keyframe here let's just zoom in on that and we will set our birth rate here to zero and in our interpolation we want constant now when we play this we should find that uh, it turns off our birth rate for a couple of frames while we recycle uh, hold on let's just check out what's going on here ah hold on we also need to set this as well to repeat so again we'll go to after last keyframe repeat okay so now we've looped that as well. That gets rid of our dots in between. Okay, so the next thing we're going to do is keyframe our um, square again so that we can get the little bump on our heart rate monitor. So to do that, we're going to keyframe. We go back over to our control group and we'll hide the X and... So at frame 20, we're going to add in the Y position a keyframe. And then we'll go forward a couple of frames and we'll set our Y value to 50. You see that gives us our first little bump there. So we'll skip forward another couple of frames. And we set our Y value back to 0. Skip forward a few frames. Add another keyframe. forward a few more and we'll set our Y value to 300 so you can see here now our shape is beginning to take place so back to our control group again skip forward another couple of frames we'll set this to minus 75 forward again back to zero forward again add a keyframe forward again and we'll add 30 and again back to zero and then we'll leave a small gap before we add another keyframe and then into our transform position again we're going to after last keyframe put repeat and now 
we get our heart rate repeating and looping over again. You can see we've got these lines here. So to get rid of those, we'll go back over to our, our, our emitter and all we need to do is alter the birth rate until those lines go. Now, we can come here and drag this up. We need it to be probably around, I find around 4,000 to 5,000 works well. And there we go. So it's a little bit slow, um, but that's just because of uh, we're rendering out a lot of particles here on the screen. So that just slows it down slightly. Um, but when you play this at, at, a, at, at proper speed after you render it out, it actually comes out okay. Um, so in part two of this tutorial, I'll show you how we can um, make this flat line. So it starts with, with the pulse and then it will, will decrease to a flat line. Um, or you can go over and check out Simon Nobstel's um, excellent tutorial on this as well. Um, I've basically um, plagiarized it here. Uh, but I just thought I would add it in for those of you who saw my previous tutorial. Um, and you may be wondering how you could make this pulse effect um, that I made previously. But make it constant so you can keep on getting it across the screen. Um, so I just thought I'd cover that in this tutorial here. Uh, so go over to my blog, you can download the, um, the uh, project file there, so you can actually see this and you can play around with it yourself or reuse it. Um, so thanks for tuning in, if you like this video, found it useful, please don't forget to hit the like button and also subscribe to my YouTube channel to keep up to date with all of my uh, new tutorials and information here for Motion 5 and Final Cut Pro. Thanks for tuning in.